Hey, are you super? <laughs> well, you probably don't need a super dog to make the cool pontoon outrigger, but it sure doesn't hurt, does it, Britt? <laughs> That's right. Some states, you know, that if you have a dog with you, you can have extra fishing poles. Well, you know, like you only have two fishing poles for you, but if you bring your dog, you can have two fishing poles for your dog. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's what you need here. You want to make that a cool pontoon? You need one 45, a T, two bell pieces. That's the end piece from the pipe there. This is, and we're going to stress this, this is not PVC. This is polyethylene pipe. PVC is too brittle and it will break. You're going to need some expanding foam, a couple of old pop uh, two liter bottles, some sheet metal screws, something to drive it with. You can use a hacksaw or an old hand saw. My preference is the mighty sawzall. Huh? Not that interesting, is it, Britt? Huh? Okay, so we're going to put this together, get it painted, and then there you go. And you want to take a little pipe cement, just dab it all around on the inside there. Get a nice good seal on it. All right. All right, now comes the fun part. You can fill it with foam. Stuff's really gonna expand in there. Don't overfill it first time. You wanna go probably right away to fill these uh, soda bottles. Once again, that stuff's going to expand. You don't want to overfill it. You watch it, it'll grow. It's really harden these things up, too. All the ends I put the glue on, inside and out. And there, give it a little twist. And fill this too a little bit. Give it a little extra flotation, huh? Top this off. Top this one off. As you can see, it's starting to expand. I'm going to put the lid on there. This is really going to firm it up. This thing will be rock solid. Okay, so here we got the new pontoon that we made there last night and painted. It's mostly dry, I think. Got a little runoff there. But it should be fine. We're going to go ahead and attach it to the other piece there that we already had made previously and I'm going to screw it together with sheet metal screws and we're going to glue it too of course okay we got it all put together see we got some sheet metal screws put in it and uh, these are the grooves that I cut into the pipe what that does it fits on the gunnels here on the side 
and I put a little eye bolt, one on each side there, and I lash it to the center bar, and then tie it down real good to these new eye bolts here. Here's how you cut the grooves for it to fit down on the side of your gunnels nice and tight. Cut this center pipe so it sticks out about 8 inches on each side of your canoe. Then major with a pencil and cut the pieces as shown. Only cut down about an inch there on each side. Now we're going to cut through the center of this thing and leave a nice soft pad for it to rest on. Another good item to have. Hey, how about a bucket with a towel, huh? Makes a nice seat. Nice wipe rag. All right, let's put this thing together and get a look at it. Okay, there you go. Going there. Doesn't look so bad. Mm -hmm. It's all lashed there, real tight, firm. Goes into the eye bolt. Alright, let's see how it's lashed on there. Got some rope. What I do, maybe you got a better idea. Tie it, lash it. If you do, hey, let us know. Just come up through there like that. Come down and around there. Come up here like that. Pull that tight. And, uh, come back through the eye bolt there again. Underneath. Come on. Come on. There you go. There. And I just tie it. There. And believe it or not, that thing is pretty secure. Lash down, it's ready to go. So there you have it. Go on out there and make one for yourself. 20 bucks. Don't look bad. Probably get some compliments of, hey, you're the best looking in the fleet. <laughs>
and lash it down. I used the eye ring holders to so you could tie it to. Boom is held on by a little eyelet screw. I drilled into the PVC pipe. It just fits right over top of the eyelet and I run a rope through it. Use a little duct tape, wrap it a few times around there to get it a better, tighter fit so there's not so much wobble in it. Cut you some inch and a half pipe about two and a half feet long. Then rough up the bottom where you're gonna place the blocks. That'll help the fiberglass stick. Hang on, gonna floor it. Woo! <laughs> hey, Crashy, got something for you. Oh crap, I got cat bombed. <laughs> hey Crashy, what's that smell? Are you cooking Chinese food? <laughs> Some people got all the nerve. 
Oh, that burning cat smells nasty. Huh, now that you mention it, it does kind of smell like Chinese. Hey, I'm just clapping because it's over. <laughs>